So these are going to be our standing stretches. So I'm going to guide this practice with a five breath cycle hold so that there's space for you to expand the practice, even though you may be starting with two to begin with. So if you're working with two, three or four breath cycles during the stretch, it may be that you move out of the stretch a little earlier than we do, in which case simply take a pause and breathe waiting for the next stretch. Some of the stretches have options and versions, and for these we'll show you the options before you can choose which version to work with, and we'll start the breath count from there. So coming to begin our stretches in standing then. Just taking a nice hip width stance, feeling the feet on the floor, and beginning to gently take the crown up towards the ceiling, and at the same time, gently reaching the fingertips down towards the floor, creating space between the shoulders and the ears, length in the back of the neck, and taking two to five slow, steady breaths. One. Two. Three. Four, reaching tall, length through the arms. And five, and just relaxing, letting the shoulders rest easy, letting the head be soft. And now moving into our neck and taking a gentle forward bend of the head, taking the chin towards the chest until you feel some gentle stretch in the back of the neck and taking two to five slow breaths here. One. Two, three, four, and five, and gently coming out of the stretch and taking the head backwards towards the ceiling. This feels a little bit more like a jointy end range, so we don't perhaps need to hover here so long, perhaps two breath cycles here. And coming back to center. And now taking the right ear towards the right shoulder, opening up a stretch on the left side of the neck and the top of the shoulder. Two to five breath cycles here. Reaching up through the crown of the head, allowing the left arm to be soft and heavy, perhaps gently drawing towards the floor. four and five and slowly easing out back to center and taking the left ear now towards the left shoulder creating a sense of opening through the right side of the neck and top of the shoulder two to five breaths here reaching up through the crown of the head lengthening through the neck perhaps gently drawing down through the right arm, dropping the shoulder away from the ear. And coming back to center. So now moving into our shoulders and taking our right arm across the front of the body, just gently holding with the left hand just above the elbow and just gently drawing the right arm across the body allowing the right shoulder to just drop down away from the ear, two to five breaths here. So stretch here is felt across the back of the shoulder, perhaps the muscles across the tops of the shoulder, between the shoulder blades maybe. Taking our slow, steady breaths, letting go with the out breath. Releasing that arm and taking the same stretch on the other side. So bringing the left arm across, just gently hugging it across with the right arm above the elbow, gently dropping the shoulder away from the ear. Two to five breaths. Three. five and gently releasing the arm just giving the shoulders a little wiggle whatever feels good 
And now taking both arms around the front of the body as if you're giving yourself a gentle hug. So bringing the hands towards the, the outsides and the backs of each shoulder. And then from the inside, drawing the shoulder blades down away from the ears and forwards around the chest wall. So from the side, we can see just this gentle rounding through the upper back, opening through the shoulder blades. Two to five breaths, stretching the muscles between the shoulder blades and the backs of the shoulders, tops of the shoulders. Three. Four. And five. Gently releasing the stretch. Now moving towards the fronts of the shoulders. So gently clasping the hands behind the back. And either just from here, drawing the shoulder blades back together, opening through the chest, or if it's possible to just gently raise the arms behind to open up a little more through the front of the shoulders, wherever you feel you can be. Two to five breaths. If it feels too much, you can just rest the hands on the buttocks and just gently work to open the shoulders and the front of the chest from here, breathing into the front of the chest, the front of the ribs. And gently releasing and allowing the arms back to rest by the side. So alternatively, bringing the arms open and wide Stretching into the front of the chest here, lifting through the chest, breathing into the front of the rib cage, lifting the gaze. And really, this is an alternative perhaps to the one we've just done. Same two to five breaths, noticing that there's a little more effort involved in holding the arms up here, but keeping the shoulders as relaxed as possible away from the ears. And then gently letting the arms rest down by the sides. So we're going to work into the side body here. So we've got some options of how you might work with this stretch. So your first option is just to take a gentle bend down to the right, taking the right fingers down the right thigh, stretching gently into the left waist. And you might breathe here, opening into the ribs at the side. And this might be where you're happy to be. If you want a little more stretch, it might be that we come the same down the right hand side and just gently raise the left arm up to wherever feels the edge of comfortable stretch for you. And it might be stopping and breathing here into the side body. Alternatively, coming back to standing, we can just take a gentle bend into the left knee, let the left hip drop, and then we can bring the left arm up to the ceiling and reach up through the side body here. And this is one way we can start to open up the side body. And we might breathe into the ribs here. If you're feeling quite flexible and want a stronger stretch, we can take a wide legged stance, take a bend into the right knee, just rest the elbow on the knee and just gently open up by taking the arm up into an arc and stretching through the side body here, a little stronger. So coming back to our starting position and making a choice which option you'd like to work with. And then we'll begin our hold. So taking a, a side bend, or whichever option you're working with, with or without the arm, two to five breaths. So breathing into the side ribs here, noticing how the expansion of the rib cage in the side of the body adds into the stretch. Three, four, and five, and gently easing out, and then moving the other way. So taking our position and knowing that you might choose something different on one side to the other. Two to five breaths. Two, Remembering if you're working with two breath cycles, you might ease out the posture before we do and just waiting, pausing, breathing quietly, waiting for the next stretch. And easing back out. 
So we're going to move now into the lower body and the legs and you may want a chair by the side or in front for a little balance support if that's going to be helpful. And we're going to begin with just opening up through the hip and the inner thigh. So taking a nice wide stance with our feet. And we're going to just turn the toes of the right foot out and just take a gentle bend into the right knee so that we're just gliding the body sideways and opening up a gentle stretch in the front and the inner thigh of the left leg. And just resting in this position here. So the body's facing forward. A gentle squeeze of the bum muscles on the left side will just gently increase the stretch a little and a further lunge will increase the stretch a little. Notice here the right leg doing some supporting work, so don't be worried if you can feel it shaking and juddering. That might just give you a little indication as to some strength work that might be helpful as well. So taking our breaths here. And then easing back up to center and just swapping the feet in the opposite direction. So taking a, an outward turn of the left leg and a side would glide into that left bent knee. Just entering into some stretch through the right inner thigh, front of hip here. This time the left leg doing some supporting work. That may feel a little different in some ways to some of the stretches we've been working with. Taking our two to five breaths. And then we're easing back out to standing and just shuffling the feet back in towards each other. So now we're going to stretch down the back of the thigh. So taking our weight onto our left foot, we're going to just place the right foot out in front. So the heel just rests in front on the floor, lifting up through the, up through the chest and then just gently leading with the chest, coming forwards from the hip till we get a bit of gentle stretch down the back of the right thigh here. Again, you might want to have a little balance support with a chair next to you or in front of you. Two to five breaths. Doesn't really matter too much where the foot is. The foot can be relaxed down on the floor or it can be raised. Just see how it feels different. It's not too important what the foot's doing. and five easing out bringing that foot back in and swapping over for the same stretch on the left leg so just taking the left foot out in front this time taking the weight onto the right leg just gently bending into it lifting through the chest and leaning forward into the stretch again just moving to the edge of stretch somewhere you feel comfortable you can just rest and breathe two to five breaths Three, four, again the standing leg doing quite a bit of supporting work here. And five, easing out of this stretch. So you might want a chair for this next one. So just having it in front for a little bit of support. We're going to take a long stance this time. So taking the right leg out behind, just onto the toes. And then just gently lunging the weight forward onto the front leg so that we're starting to get a little bit of stretch in the front of the right hip just noticing the position of the pelvis and taking a gentle tuck of the pelvis will move into that stretch with a little bit more intensity so knowing that you can alter the position of your pelvis gently to work with that stretch and two to five breaths here again we've got the front leg doing some supporting work so don't be surprised if that's juddering or shaking beneath you. Just know that that's helpful in itself to be offering some supporting work here. Four. And five. And just gently easing out and swapping over and taking the other leg out behind this time onto the toes 
and just gently lunging the weight forward onto the front leg, keeping the body relatively upright. Noticing the position of the pelvis, a gentle tuck perhaps, or maybe even a gentle squeeze of the bum muscles on the left leg, just increases the stretch slightly in the front of the left hip. We're taking our two to five breaths, just resting here. and five and just easing out of the stretch and you may well want to chair for this next one for balance so we're going to try and stretch down the front of the thigh now it can be a little bit awkward to start with depending on your flexibility so we're going to try and reach round to see if it's possible to grab hold of it might just to start with be a bit of the sock or the back of a trouser leg it might be that you can get hold of the front of the ankle or maybe even the toes but many people when they first start might struggle with this. If you're really struggling to get hold of even the trouser leg or a sock, it might be that you can wrap a, a hand towel or a dressing gown cable just around the front of the ankle. And then you might be able to just gently bridge the gap and draw the foot up towards the bum this way. So finding somewhere you can get hold of this leg and just gently drawing the heel towards the bum and gently working to draw the knee back relatively in line if at all possible with the other standing knee two to five breaths so of course quite a balance challenge going on here as well just be aware of how much pressure you may be putting on the chair in front keep it relatively light allowing yourself to balance a little while still feeling safe and secure to stretch And five, releasing the leg, popping it down. So just doing the same on the left leg then. So taking wherever you can get hold of, trouser, sock, back of shoe, ankle or foot, or bridging the gap with something if needs be. Just gently working to draw the knee back in line with the standing leg, two to five breaths. course using a chair still if you need to three four and five gently releasing the foot resting it down and just moving into our last standing stretch so again having a chair in front if you wish but not necessary or well, it could be a wall or a door taking the right leg out behind taking a gentle bend into the left knee and gently lunging forward onto the left leg back heel is moving down towards the ground back toes facing forward and the stretch here is in the calf of the back right leg two to five breaths two three, four, and five. And now just bringing the back foot halfway in, shifting the weight onto the back leg and just gently bending at the knee. And you'll feel the stretch here a little further down the calf into the Achilles and the lower calf muscle and into the ankle joint, two to five breaths. Again, you'll feel the right leg doing quite a bit of standing, supporting work here while stretching the lower part of the calf. And easing out of that stretch, coming back feet together and then taking the left leg out behind now. So left leg behind, Heel moving towards the floor, toes facing forward and gently leaning into the front leg. Two to five breaths, stretch here in the calf of the left back leg. Two. Three. Four and five and just taking that back leg halfway in 
shifting the weight onto the back leg and gently bending into the left knee. So we get that stretch down into the Achilles and the ankle. Two to five breaths. Two, three, again the left leg doing some good supporting work here. Knees may be a little grumbly. Four, and five, easing out of the stretch. And that's the end of our standing sequence of stretches.